Hello and welcome to vlog number two, Patriotism in and around the villages here in Florida. Let's go first to some of the spots around the villages and lastly we'll take you to a very, very, very special place just outside the villages in a town called Bushnell. So let's go. First stop we're going to make is right here in my neighborhood here in the villages and we're just cruising the streets and as you can see there's loads of flags out, American flags all along the curbside. Um, and it's of course the Memorial Day weekend, uh, Memorial Day, which commemorates the and honors the military personnel who perished and gave their lives for our freedom here in the United States. It's a very special holiday to many, many people, most everybody, I would think. And our show of appreciation is all the flags out front. And that's just one of the ways there is a lot of patriotism here in and about the villages here in Florida. Our next stop is in Spanish Springs, the Villages, Florida, Veterans Memorial Park. Right in the edge of the villages is American Legion Veterans Post 347, Lady Lake, Florida. Largest Legion post in the world. Let's take a quick look.
Next is an incredible recreation center here in the village. It's the Eisenhower Rec Center. And this commemorates Dwight D. Eisenhower presidency and also as a general. It commemorates uh, all the wars we've been in. There's all kinds of memorabilia from all kinds of conflicts uh, posted and displayed in this rec center. And you need to sp stop by and spend a couple of hours and look at all the things that are there. It really is spectacular. Here is just a little sample. Our final stop on this journey of patriotism is to 
The second largest national cemetery in the country, the Florida National Cemetery. It's in the city of Bushnell, Sumter County. It's uh, opened in May 1988, about 512 acres and growing. It's getting larger and over 165,000 people are interned at that national cemetery. We'll give you a little video view of what this place looks like. You should stop by, pay your respects, take a tour. It's um, it's quite a moving spot. It it is very. It can be quite emotional when you go there, but you should stop by. So this is the gravesite locator. Yep. And if you want to find somebody, you can look them up. On the yep. gravesite locator, you can print a map, which you have in your hand there, I think. Yes. And it will show you where that person's gravesite is. How good is that? Because if you look down here and see all those gravestones, you'd spend the rest of your life looking for somebody's gravesite. But this gravesite locator that they have right here at the entrance to the National Cemetery uh, is right up front here, and you can use it. So if you're looking up for somebody, you can do it right here. Terrific. Here we are at the National Cemetery in Bushnell, Florida. And it's quite a moving site. This is only one of the grave areas. I'll give you a quick look of what it's like and how far it goes. I can't, well, let me walk down here and we'll we'll take a walk down here by the old tree and give you another look at how far the gravestones go. Every gravestone has a gravesite has a American flag flying in it and honoring the people who reside here now who given who have given their all for our country and uh, or who have served in our country's armed forces. I don't know, it's, it's hard to, I hope I can capture on film the uh, enormity of this one particular gravesite amongst many and as you can see this is quite a place Here is another site where the ashes of those that served and those that have fallen and given their lives for our country are placed. There are many sites like this around the cemetery. Each flag you see out there represents a grave site. And grave sites behind me and to the right over there there's more this is quite a sight here all of these flags have been placed for Memorial Day they will be taking up taken up uh, probably this weekend <laughs> 